so in this video we will differentiate between lactose and maltose by some qualitative test so let's get into it so here comes the Baffords test so in Baffords test we use Baffords reagent to differentiate between whether our sample is a reducing monosaccharide or a reducing disaccharide so it gives a positive result for reducing monosaccharides that is a red color precipitate so the red color is formed due to the formation of this copper 2 oxide when our sample reacts with this Baffords reagent and the Baffords reagent will be linked in the description box below so please check out for that so let's assume that our sample is a disaccharide and it doesn't give any color because the Baffords test doesn't give any positive result for the reducing disaccharide so let's assume that our sample is a reducing disaccharide and it doesn't give any color at all so let's get on to the osazone test so we confirmed from the Baffords test that our sample is a disaccharide and by this osazone test we will determine whether our sample is lactose or maltose so here is the general, general reaction where the sugar molecule that is our disaccharide reacts with this phenyl hydrazine to form its respective hydrazone and this hydrazone forms crystals and depending upon the shape of the crystal that we observe under the microscope we can differentiate whether it is maltose or lactose so for lactose the crystals are powder puff in shape so as you can see so here is the microscopic image of the crystals you can see it is powder puff like shape but for maltose it is a shape like sunflower so from the shape of these crystals we can determine whether it is lactose or maltose the procedure for this osazone test is also linked in the description box below i have done it to make the video simple and shorter for you so i hope you like this video and it helped you a lot so thank you for watching stay healthy bye